he clearly doesn't give a actual... You clearly don't give an actual... Do you? There's been a little bit of a wandering eye with Loy. OK. Me and Lottie may have actually spent the night together after the mixer. Oh, Adam. OK. Adam, never in the history of the agency <laughs> has this happened before we've ever sent a celebrity on their first date. Yeah. Within literally two minutes, like a rat up a drain pipe, <laughs> you were off bagging one of our fellow celebs. Will he get a certificate for that? Because it is quite impressive. This is shocking behaviour from Adam. Without a doubt, the fastest hookup in the history of the agency. We need to get to the bottom of whether there really is something going on with him and Lottie, and indeed whether he's serious about the agency process. Oh my God, what about Adam and Lottie? AKA the first inter celeb shaggers of the series. What I fear for is I fear for their dates. I think it's completely fine to date multiple people until you become exclusive with someone. I am all for people dating multiple people as yeah. long as they are transparent about that. Yeah. Everyone's got to know the situation. Yeah. But my concern is they're literally doing what they've come into the agency to learn to not do. Hello, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, love it. What? <laughs> When you whisper, they can still hear you talk. Yes, we can. Lottie looks great. I won't lie, it's nice to see her again. But I'm trying to work out who actually knows about what's really happened with me and her. Uh... <laughs> Earlier in the week, you good friends here selected people to date from the mixer. Now, you've been spending the last few days whining and dining them, haven't you? Yes. All right, but what you have not yet received is full feedback. But oh, I think no. it's... Oh, no! Oh, wait, hold on. on! Don't get scared. But I think it's time for us to rectify that, right, ladies? Absolutely. I mean, we have invited the dating no. back. No. 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 no! 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 Boom! Have a bit of that. I am excited to hear my feedback, but I'm a little bit nervous because Adam is sat right next to me. All right, so let's move to Jasmine. I feel like there's always room for improvement, but I feel like I did get more of Adam, so we did get a bit, like, a little bit deep. I felt like I knew Adam for Adam rather than Adam from Love Island or Instagram or whatever. I think that's right, that I probably felt a little bit more chilled with you and probably very similar in where we're at right now. Something in your nails, lots? So now, Adam, you have a decision to make. I think it's pretty clear that I want to go on a date with Jasmine. Our idea was something special, so, yeah, we'll go with that. Now, we're going to go to Jasmine to get your decision. However, before we do that, if I could have Lottie stand up for me. Why? If you could stand up for me. You're scaring me. You're scaring me. No, no there's no no, 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 this is all love. This is all love. It doesn't feel like love, Paul. It feels quite tense. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna be sick. I just know exactly what's coming, but I really don't want it to happen. Lottie. Yeah? Adam, you both came to the agency this past week and you told us. <gasps> oh, my God, he's trying to me right now. Lottie, <laughs> you told us that you both spent the night together. Oh, Jesus Christ, why did you do this to me? The three of us would genuinely love to know if you would like to explain your relationship and what you would like to do no, about your no, relationship. No, 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 no. I think it's fair to me and Jasmine had a great date, and I'd rather explore that and try and see where things are going. Whatever happened with me and Adam happened, like we have chemistry, we have like we flirt, you know, we've like committed to this process, so I think we need to see it through. Okay, so now let's go to the people you've selected. Oh and get yep. their opinion. He can do what he wants to do. We did have a good date, and just because that's happened doesn't take that away. I'm more than happy to go on another date if he wanted to. On that note, we will conclude the very first celebrity dating agency brunch. Did you have a great time? Yeah. Right until the end. Right until the end. Hope you've had a lovely time. We're off now. Enjoy the world of shit we've left behind for you all and all the food. No one's eating a thing. I thought it was brunch. Every time I see Adam, there's just an undeniable chemistry between us, and I just don't think I can ignore it anymore. How was the mixing? It was great. Anyway. So how were the girls? Nice girls. A little bit <laughs> distracted. 
Obviously, I had like fun today, and it was nice. Well, I feel like we have a better connection than I do with any guy in there. Yeah, well, I'm definitely the same. The girls are great and they're nice. Yeah. All of that. Same. Stuff. The guys but, like, are great and nice, but and, it's not yeah, like it's not I feel like thing. yeah, it's just not. It doesn't compare to like how I feel about you right now. Yes. <laughs> We've done everything in the wrong order, and I keep going back. There's definitely the chemistry there, so I need to find out what this is about. So, do you want to go on a date tomorrow? <laughs> I think you know the answer. Okay. This was a long time coming. So you fancy me from, like, day one? Oh, fancy you, yeah. I didn't know if I liked you as a person. I still don't, to be honest. Brutal, jeez. He doesn't know if he likes me as a person. I mean, I slept with him. I know I like him. What I was going to do yesterday, I was going to come in and be like, look, I'm really happy to be friends with you, but I just don't think we should sleep together anymore. Yeah. Because I think it's going to complicate things. If you still want to be a boy, that's fine. I think we all know the answer to that. If you still want to mess about, that's fine. But it's just like, I don't want to be messed about. I just think it's better off as friends. That's what I wanted to come in and say. But then obviously you kind of took me aside and told me how you felt, so I was like, Hey, I feel like you're not buying that now. No, I am now. I wouldn't be here if I didn't buy it. I'd sack you off. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really even comfortable talking about this. Can we not just keep it chill? This is way too serious right now. I've got a situation to deal with. You've got a situation. Gonna... Why is it always me? The situation Adam is referring to also goes by the name Jasmine. Like my longest relationship's 18 months. 18 months curse every time. I think I could break it. What's the plan? Are you going to still go on a date with Jasmine? No, I don't think so, now. Who do you think you have a better connection with? Who do I have a better connection with? Me or Jasmine? If you like, you know the answer to this already. Answer. You just yep, dig in, saying. just dig in and dig in. And <laughs> Hello, celebs. Halfway through the agency. Last brunch was all about what your dates made of you. But today, we want to see you in action. Hi. Oh, God. <gasps> yeah. Oh, God. That's my ex. Hello. And Hi. something tells me he ain't gonna complain about Megan Fox looking like Autumn. Oh, God. Thank you. There's not many autumns kicking about, are there? Only well, one. All the way from LA as well. It's not even your birthday, and no. I'm here. The biggest gift of all. Yeah, over the moon. Not sure Lottie is. You know, this is the beauty of the celebrity dating agency. Mm -hmm. The one that got away, mm -hmm. but is now possibly back. Yeah, this is good. I mean, it was a little holiday romance, wasn't it? I guess you could call it that. Yeah, good holiday romance as well. Yeah, I, I feel like we had like quite good chemistry before. Oh, we had a really good time. Like, it was the best. Mm -hmm. I feel like you and I are like very on the same page about a lot of stuff. Yeah. I think for me as well, I was probably like just thinking like, I don't want to like start actually feeling anything like properly because like it's never going to work. I was really into autumn. And do you know what? If things were different back then, maybe it could have worked out differently. Is this a second chance? Yeah, yes. I was probably a little bit nervous when I saw that name card as well. Why? Why? This is a little bit of a thing going on with Lottie, who's behind you. Don't fancy turning around for a peek or one? So it's not really what I expected to have to date two people, you know, right in eyesight. All right, Lottie, we know that you have been seeing our man Adam over here. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah. Right? So just generally, how are you feeling about that? <laughs> it's obviously, like, awkward, isn't it? Is it? I had noticed. But um, I think it's important to, like, explore other options as well. So, yeah. I like the honesty. Yeah. So, Adam, how was brunch today? Great. Trip down memory lane. So we also know that you have dated some other folks here, including Jasmine, mm. right? But you left things unfinished with her. Yeah. So I'm going to have Jasmine come on out. Oh, my God. Oh, Christ, not again. <laughs> Paul. What are you doing to us? You all right? Hi. Yeah, are you? Yeah. yeah. This is autumn. You know Lottie already. Yep. Hi. <laughs> What's been going on? Anything I should know? Me and Lottie, obviously, things have changed a little bit. I think yeah. that things have probably progressed since I saw you at the brunch the last time. 
if there is something with you and Lottie, and I feel like that shouldn't be ignored, and I feel like I'd be a bit silly if I was just to keep going on dates with you after you telling me there was nothing, yeah. you know, and you said some comments that I was just like... What, what are these comments? Can you expand on that for us? Um... He just said that it was nothing more than physical with Lottie. Wow, that's interesting. Wow, okay. So the question is, who would you like to go on another date with? I would like to go on a date with Orm. That is big. It's awful. Literally. What in the actual? I don't let him, that's muggy, mate. I wasn't gonna say anything, because I'm trying to save face, but Chloe's right, this is muggy. I need to step in. He clearly doesn't give a actual You clearly don't give an actual do you? Should we just address like the after, elephant in the room, yeah, shall we? Should we just address this elephant in the room? You've literally been calling me literally every single day and now you're gonna take her on a date instead of me. Are we really gonna do that right now? You can actually f off now. That's actually been the muggiest thing ever. Right, okay. I shouldn't be shocked because this is your like behavior. I feel like it's a bit unfair to have yeah. this conversation no, in front of her as well. Yeah, that's so unfair, Adam. Yeah. Yeah, not unfair on anybody else here, is it? Right, OK. I apologise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really don't accept it. Not the most relaxing brunch I've been to, this, is it? But I kind of thought you just said that you were happy to see him, like, explore other options, Oh, right? everyone that says that yeah, when they're everyone, yeah. I don't mean it. I feel like maybe you should have been honest then about it, too. I think maybe, maybe you shut should, up. like, shut up. Lottie's obviously entitled to her own opinion, but there's a time and a place, and this just isn't it. We should all just leave it, really, shouldn't we? You know what I mean? You could have went out with him as well. But she didn't, did she? Because she likes you, Adam. Have him. Honestly, I'm so glad that I've, like, escaped that. Like, thank God. Like... I tell you what, it's a bit muggy for all, a minute. I need to get out of here. <laughs> I swear to God, idiot, like I'm so angry.